I guess we can get one of the Momotalk stuff done. So we'll go for Hina. Sensei, I know this is sudden, but I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Can I meet you tonight after my work is done? Sure, whatever you like. So you work late too. Yes, I'm sorry to impose on you at such an hour. I'll let you know where we can meet. Begin relationship story! I arrived at Gehenna's downtown district for a late night meeting with Hina. No one is around at this hour. It's almost creepy how empty the streets are. What could Hina want at this time of night? Sensei. Hey, Hina Sure, It looks like you beat me here. <laughs> Hina Sure, As a miniature? Don't call me that ever again. It makes me uncomfortable. I apologize for calling you here this late. I am rather famous around Gehenna. I get recognized wherever I go. Sometimes I feel like my every move is being watched. If I were spotted with you, it would only cause trouble. Hence why I asked you to meet me at this hour. It's almost like you're an idol, Hina. Uh, an idol? I wouldn't say that. I'm not the cute or glamorous type. I can't say the analogy is completely incorrect. I know what it's like to have no time to myself and be constantly aware of my surroundings. I see you have the cute part down. You're pretty glamorous in your own right. Y you really do know how to put your foot in your mouth, don't you? Being that adult here doesn't give you license to say whatever you want. Learn to behave! And I kept yelling at me. But I meant I was being serious. Huh? Why are you acting so serious about this? Mm. I, I wasn't trying to call you a liar. It's just... I know better than anyone that I'm not cute. Enough. I didn't call you to talk about this kind of nonsense. Let's get down to business. I always lose my focus when I'm around, Sensei. <sighs> Allow me to explain why I've asked you here. I wanted to discuss Gehenna's security for this quarter and ask for advice on developing a coordinated investigation plan for next quarter. You mean to talk business? But of course, why else would I ask you to meet me secretly in the middle of the night? I thought it was a date to go to the tea party and eat some wakashi and drink some tea together, obviously. <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, let's get to work. I read the document Hina brought and discussed it with her. That's an interesting perspective. Thanks for the insight. I feel like I didn't help much. Nonsense. Outsider perspectives help us stay objective. Of course, I'd find your opinion to be valuable. It's not often I get the unfiltered feedback of someone with experience. Does that mean you trust me? Uh, why wouldn't I? Granted, you are somewhat flaky for someone your age. Excuse me, I'm not that flaky, am I? <laughs> Though not to the extent that would dissuade me from asking your advice again. Given that we only meet at night, of course. Sure, you can count on me. Call me anytime. Thank you, Sensei. <sighs> it's getting late. I should head back and get some rest. See you later, Sensei. At least eat a meal with me. A tired-looking Hina said her goodbyes and returned home. Actually, it's probably better if she gets some sleep, though. I hope I'm not cutting into your rest. If so, please tell me. I don't want to inconvenience you. Feel free to inconvenience me anytime, Hina. I'll be okay if she gets some sleep. Okay, thanks. Good night, Sensei. <laughs> no, that's it! I guess the... Last... Person I'll choose for today will be Yuka. Since I, I technically haven't met these. I mean, I did see Chinatsu, but I don't know if it would be a good idea to go for her right now. Sensei, can you stop by the student office after school today? I've got a problem that's even beyond me. If you couldn't solve it, I doubt I can. No, it's not like that. What I really need is help from an adult. If I can help, then I'll do my best. Okay, I'll be waiting for you in the student office. To Yuka's relationship story.
There you are, Sensei. Today's agenda pertains to Millennium's finances, so I can't really discuss it with the other students. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been mulling it over all day, but I haven't come up with a suitable solution. Could you take a look at this picture? What? What, what is that? <laughs> it, it's, uh... Uh, I, I guess, uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's like, uh, this is abstract painting, clearly. What do you think it looks like? Kind of looks like a bird. No, maybe not a bird. Uh, it looks like some kind of ball, like volleyball thingies or something. Oh, maybe they're playing handball. No, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. A child scrub scribbling. Uh, a boa constrictor that swallowed an elephant. Coffee stains? Hmm. Definitely not coffee stains. Uh, a boa constrictor that swallowed an elephant. Nah, I don't see that. Child scribbling. Uh, so you agree. Let me get to the point. This abstract painting was given to us as collateral by an entrepreneur who owes the Millennium School money. According to this entrepreneur, it was painted by a genius painter named Matsumoto from Wild Hunt Art Academy, and it's worth at least 100 million yen. But no matter how much I stare at it, it looks like it was scribbled by a toddler. Some art is just like that. I'm aware, but I can't shake my disappointment. That's all. We all supplies and discount. It couldn't have cost more than 10,000 yen to produce. But it becomes thousands of times more valuable just because the artist was supposedly famous? I can't fathom why that would be. Then again, I'm only seminar's treasure. It's not my job to appraise art. I only wonder whether or not this art qualifies as collateral. You can't calculate the value of art with conventional math. If it can't be calculated with a formula, then how does one calculate it? I'm not sure actually, but usually in most cases, it's sad that most art tends to become more expensive when the artist dies. <laughs> They don't even get to get uh, the, what is it, rewards of their labor. Are you saying that when appraising art, you need to examine the artist's effort and creativity? Uh, yeah, I guess. Interesting. I suppose I'd be angry if a fully functional robot and a pile of scrap metal were considered equal in value just because they weighed the same. But that brings us back to square one. Since I can't evaluate art, I want you to appraise this painting. How much do you think it's worth? What? Zero yen. What? How can that be? Wild Hunt Art Academy doesn't have a famous artist named Matsumoto? That would mean this artwork is just a counterfeit? <sighs> then why didn't you tell me that from the start? Well, we were having an interesting discussion, so... <laughs> well, the painting is worthless. We decided to hang it up anyway, since there was nowhere else to store it. Yay! Okay, so I think... Mm, I guess I could do Chinatsu because we did meet her in... What is it? Uh, oh, what was it called? Oh, in chapter one. <laughs> I'm waiting for her just now. <laughs> it's Chinatsu. I'm not sure if you remember me. I didn't have a chance to pro introduce myself properly last time. I hope to have that chance soon. Chinatsu. <sighs> Is this effort going to end? All this work piled up and the others aren't doing anything to help. Uh, it's so heavy too. Though that shouldn't surprise me at this point. Huh? Need a hand? That looks heavy. Huh? <gasps> sensei what are you doing here? You're here because of the last text I sent? Well, yes, but I, I didn't expect you to drop what you were doing and rush over here. A and the answer is no, I can handle carrying these documents just fine. Excuse me? No, I said I was fine. You really want to carry half of them? I shouldn't be asking a teacher to do this for me. Fine, you're offering, so it would be rude to turn you down. And please, and thank you. Here you are. I took half the documents that Chinatsu was carrying. Hmm? Heavier than you thought it would be? Paper is deceptively heavy when you stack it up like this. That's true. Heavy is so... Paper is so heavy, I... Uh, I can't believe I said 
I was thinking heavy and paper, but then I said heavy first. <laughs> what am I saying? You've made my life so much easier. Thanks again. You want to know where we're headed? Just follow me. We're going straight down the stairs here. I promise it's not far. I'd appreciate it if you could come with me. You can't believe that I was about to go down the stairs with all of these files? I don't think it would have been that dangerous. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're the first person to say something like that to me. Thank you. I would have managed. I'm used to things like this. Don't get used to things like that. Because I'm sure you've noticed the Sunas of Gehenna have quite unique personalities, say the least. Many of them would never bother with this kind of menial work. They always try to avoid it. But often time falls to me to get it done. I have a lot of practice in dealing with these kinds of things. That's all. Hmm? What about me? Am I in charge of paperwork? No, I'm the head of the medical committee. And they're making you do that kind of menial work? I feel so sp I feel so bad for her. Uh, I don't get why a medical officer would have to do this either. I wish we had more people to take care of this kind of work. It's not something I particularly enjoy doing. But like I said before, if no one does it, then it'll just keep piling up. Someone has to do it. Though this kind of work suits someone boring like me. <laughs> you are not boring. Don't say that about yourself. No one is boring unless you say that you're boring. I wouldn't call you boring. I think you're very kind-hearted. Who would call such a pretty girl in glasses boring? E excuse me? I, I must have blacked out for a second because you couldn't possibly be talking about me. But more importantly, I should apologize for taking up your time like this. You came all the way here and yet I... We, we should hurry. Uh, don't, don't run away. We, we still have to have our tea party. Come, come on. Shinatsu, hurry down the stairs at a brisk pace. <laughs> She's running away. I followed her. Here we are, Sensei. Thanks for your help. You can leave your stack there. I can take it from here. What was that? You want to help until I'm completely done? But why? You don't... I'm not sure what to say. No one's ever offered like this before. Hmm? I should just go with the flow? Think of us as two people who have been working together from the beginning? You help me until the job is done? <laughs> it's nice of you to offer, but I couldn't agree to that. The last thing I want to do is inconvenience you. But I will admit this. Today's work was much less tedious with you here, Sensei. I won't ask you to help me every day, but... As long as you're up for it... I may turn to you if you aren't too busy. That will afford us the opportunity to... Um... Catch up! Oh, I want to pat her head and adopt her. She's officially my, uh... Let's see, how many daughters do I have now? <laughs> I'm losing track, you guys! Maybe I need to make a family tree at this point. I'll be looking forward to it. With a shy smile, Chinatsu began to organize the rest of the documents. Chinatsu and I left the classroom together after we finished our work for the day. Thank you so much for today, Sensei. I don't know how to repay you. But I'll think of something soon. Mm. I hope to see you again, Chinatsu. I like I I think it's so cute that she puts her name as like a signature after her at the end of her text messages. So adorable. I think it was the next one. I think you said ID. Okay, okay. Sensei, Sensei! There's a new dessert at Cafe Mita Fiore. Can you come with me? Sorry, I'm busy. To, perhaps if I live to see you tomorrow. Oh no, you're busy? Sensei? I'm, I'm alive, don't worry. Here, give me some dessert. <laughs> I returned from a business trip to find my desk as shot at piled with documents. Oh, that sounds horrible. I decided to skip lunch to organize all the papers on my desk. Sensei, are you there? Hi there, Sensei. Oh, I really, really like her halo. It's so cute and pretty. How's your day been? 
Uh, well. Stare at my desk without saying a word. Huh? Is all of that your paperwork? Wow. Adults really do have a lot of responsibilities. Huh? So she's part of the after school suites club. I want to join. I'll be a great advisor for that. Oh, have you had lunch yet? <gasps> you still haven't eaten? Oh no, that won't do. I had a feeling you'd skip lunch, so I brought dessert for you. Made a few at a cafe, launched some new items today. I was hoping I could try them with you, so I brought them over. Ta-da! I took several different pastries out of her bag. <laughs> oh, what a sweet girl! Okay, okay, she's my sister now. <laughs> These are their new cupcakes. What do you think, Sensei? Don't they look delicious? This one is filled with raspberries. They let me nibble a sample earlier. I wonder if that flavor really was raspberry. It was so tangy and unique. And this cupcake is made with bananas. They didn't have any samples, but the color was so pretty I just couldn't resist. And this one... <gasps> is a mint chocolate cupcake! Oh my gosh! Um. Okay, you guys. Do you love mint chocolate? Or do you hate mint chocolate? I... <laughs> do not like mint chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna call her mint choco girl. No, 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 no. She's gonna be the mint choco musume-san. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's no longer gonna be my emoto. She's gonna be my uh, musume-san. <laughs> Actually, this one isn't even new. I just wanted one. The sweet flavor of the chocolate combined with the refreshing taste of mint. <sighs> ID, ground control to ID. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I spaced out there. Anyway, which one do you want to try first, Sensei? I want a Costella cake. <laughs> and share it with my Kastara Musume-san. I spent a good while eating cupcakes with Aidi as she explained the various flavors. Uh, I guess I'll have to get back to those documents later. Sensei! Did you like the cupcake today? Was it good? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, it was, it was super delicious. So glad you liked it. Have a great day, Sensei. But I think I wanna. I wanna do what she says next. Sensei, I saw some lovely clouds. Clouds? It's a beautiful day today. Yes. So today. I might be able to find them. At least I think so. Sensei, let's go find them. Find what? Clouds. Cl clouds? I'll wait for you in the shopping district. As I arrived at the shopping area, I saw Chisei walking around aimlessly. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, I'm adopting her for sure. Chisei, what are you doing? Ah, uh, Sensei, you're here? You look like you're just wandering around. Mmm, well... Uh, I was chasing a cloud. A cloud? Where? Ah, there. It's moving again. Sensei, we have to chase it. L let me let me chase after. She just started walking slowly after a drifting cloud. Oh, uh, hold up, she said, wait! Let's follow it together. Ah, how nice. The cloud. The cloud. Ah. Is that the cloud you're looking for? No, it's different. The cloud I'm looking for... is a little softer. It's light and fluffy, Sensei. Cloud. Clouds. Mm. She's a wait. 
I walked all over chasing after Chisa, who was drifting around like the wind. Dang, that cloud would be fast right now. <laughs> Not here either. Dang, that cloud be going everywhere for sure. Mm, not here either. She mm. mm. said, hold on a minute. Huh? Sensei, what's the matter? Maybe you should give it a rest. What kind of cloud are you looking for exactly? The kind of cloud I'm looking for. If you just tell me, we could find it faster. Oh, good point. With your help, Sensei. I think we can find it. So the kind of cloud I'm looking for is... Well... Well? It's a soft cloud. Soft, right. You already said that. It was a soft cloud and... And... It had a great smell to it. Of course it had a great smell. Wait, huh? What, smell? Yep. The scent made me feel like I was floating through the soft clouds in the sky. Well, could you explain in more detail? Because that sounds sus. More detail. Oh. Ah. It smells like the shining sun over our heads. Smells like the sun. Is there anything else I could go by? Anything else? Some other characteristic. Ah, there's one other thing. Oh, what is it? The cloud felt like you. Girl, I, get, I, I understand that you want to fight a cloud, but... How did you, oh, okay, anyways. <laughs> yep, it was just like you. Oh, felt like me? Hmm. It's warm like the sunshine and smells so incredibly good. I feel great just being around it. I liked it a lot. I see you mean the cloud you saw, right? Yeah, of course I'm talking about the cloud. The weather is so great today. I think we might find it. It'd be great if we did. <gasps> I'm adopting you. It's official. I wandered around when she said looking for the cloud. The sun set before we could find it. I guess we're not going to find the cloud. Yeah. It's fine. There's always tomorrow. Next time. She stares. She said. Still staring. She said, what are you staring at? E <gasps> Cotton candy. Oh, what if the cloud were the bonds we made along the way? <laughs> that sounds awfully familiar and I can't remember what is bothering me. <laughs> Cotton candy? If you want cotton candy, I could buy you some. Mm. My do, thank you. Mm, yum, 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 yum. How's it good? Oh yeah. That's great. We didn't find a cloud, but there's always next time. By the way, what's that cloud you were looking for? It's hard to explain. But that's fine. This cloud, I like this one too. Uh, a cloud? The shape and texture is a little different, but... You sure know how to buy the tastiest clouds. Wait a second. She said... Were you just looking for cotton candy this entire time? Ah! 
My hand is all sticky, Sensei. Oh, wait. I have something around here you could use. Oh, I should wash the rest of the contact candy so it's not so sticky. All right. No, 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 no. Don't you dare do that. No, don't do that. It's too late, isn't it? It's too late, isn't it? After that, I tried desperately to keep Chisef from wiping her hands on my clothes. <laughs> oh, so funny. Hey, Sensei. I haven't heard back from you since I called last time. What's going on? Can I go to Shada? I could have replied because my cell phone was broken. Connection is still pretty bad right now. Gosh, I think she says my favorite so far. What? That's great. Huh? Isn't that bad? You'll understand very soon. Call me Meister. My cell phone is broken. Go to repair shop. Give up on communication forever. <laughs> yes. Neither of those is a good choice. What's up, Sensei? The general student council sent me a request, so I was in the neighborhood. What kind? You know, just regular maintenance on the machinery? Some of the devices used at the general student council were originally owned by Millennium. But no one around here seems to know how any of it works. Anyway, your phone is going to be fine, so don't worry. That means I can help you. I can make it into something more than just a boring old cell phone. No, 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 just, just, just make it a normal cell phone. You don't have to add anything else to it, and it'll be fine. I'm part of the engineering department. No one from Millennium knows their way around machines better than we do. That's why we're proud to call ourselves Meisters. So after taking a look at your phone... I say you've overloaded the motherboard while charging it. You should be good if you replace the capacitor on it. But I think it wouldn't hurt to go to the extra step while we're at it. Hmm, how about adding a self-destruction system? What? <laughs> a self-destruction system? No! That's perfect. Why would I need that? Yeah, that's perfect. I know, right? I'll get on it right away. Wait, wait, you were serious? No, 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 no. I was joking. I was joking. I swear I was joking. Oh, right. I just remembered, they put it in a rule about us not making self-destruction systems anymore. Uh, our club has a checkered past and a few members have backstories that follow them everywhere. But we have our own reasons for that. Our club is always looking for ways to innovate. So sorry, looks like I'll need to get approval from the higher-ups before I can add that function for you. Not at all, and that way your phone can double as a bomb or a grenade if you ever need one. You know, if you were to make it into a bomb or a grenade, I think I would accidentally explode it onto myself. <laughs> oh. Oh. So funny. Fine, fine. I guess I can't force you to see the light. There, your phone's all fixed. It should work fine now. Give me a call if your phone or any of your other electronics go on the fritz. I'd be happy to lend a hand. <laughs> she's so cute too. Oh no, she's gonna be my emoto. She will be but the first emoto in this game. <laughs> what do you think about installing a self-destruct device in all your electronics? Like your TV, your refrigerator, your laptop, maybe your microwave, vacuum cleaner, hair dryer. I can make them all self-destruct if you want. I'm just joking. Are you sure you're joking? You, you kind of sound serious. Uh, Self-destruct feature would be a bad idea. A very, very bad idea. I'm pretty sure I'll make it explode. By accident. Onto myself. Where is it? Hasumi! Sensei, there's something I'd like to ask you personally. Is it okay if I consult you for advice? Sure, whatever you need, Hasumi. Oh. Great! Thank you, I was worried you would say no. I'm kind of impressed. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I'll see you soon. A big misunderstanding? Uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of sus. The afternoon street is bustling with people. I can see Hasumi waiting in the distance. She's easy to spot, easy to spot in the crowd thanks to her large wings. Hey! 
She didn't seem to notice me. Uh, where did you come from? Sorry about that, I was distracted. I've never tried walking in the streets on a day off before. I didn't expect there to be so many people out and about. I'm impressed that you were able to spot me. You stick out from the crowd, you're easy to spot from afar. D do I really stick out that much? I don't think I look that out of the ordinary. It's hard not to notice when they're that big. B pardon? Do you think they're too big? They're huge compared to the other Trinity students. Oh no, I, I can see what this m misunderstanding is going to come from. N no, I mean... I suppose that's true. I, I can't deny it, but, but there are people with bigger ones than mine. Sorry, did I hit a sensitive topic? N no, it's fine. Uh, I'm not used to having such an adult conversation. I was simply taken by how forward you are. My bad, I didn't mean to shock you. Do people from Kiboto Stan notice these things? It's fine, Sensei, you don't have to feel bad. Still, her wings are pretty big. Is it hard having big ones? Uh, excuse me? Well, they are a little burdensome sometimes. My shoulders get stiff when I stay in one position too long, and they bother me when I run so they bounce around. That's true, and you do get lower back pain, apparently. So a lot of people end up getting surgery. It's not a very good thing to have. Well, rather than not having a good thing to have, it's just painful. I've been trying to lose weight in the hopes to go down a few sizes and not be such a hindrance. What? Do they shrink with your weight? It, yes, uh, of course. Well, normally for me, it differs a little from person to person. That's incredible. I learned something new today. D did you now? I, I wouldn't exactly call that incredible. Oh no. <laughs> I want to touch them. May I touch them? Um. Oh no. T t t t touch them? Right here? Isn't this a little inappropriate? Then again, if I consented, but do I? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's really what you want? Th then you have my permission. But you can't tell anyone, and this goes somewhere that no one can see us. I'm honored. I've always been curious about your wings. <laughs> Uh, oh, y you meant my wings. Oh, uh, yes? That entire time you were referring to uh, my wings. My wings. Of course. What did you think I was talking about? Uh, n n nothing. Uh, I just remember something important I have to do, Sensei. I need to go right now. Wait, what about letting me touch your wings? I'll see you later. <laughs> she ran away from embarrassment. <laughs> oh, I should make her my sister. As we bolted out of the door in a flash. <laughs> that was the funniest one I've ever... <laughs> Sensei, it, it's nothing. Please forget about today. Aw, are you serious? But I want to touch your wings. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next week or any other day. Bye. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye bye.